hello and welcome to the channel in tonight's video i'm going to talk to you and show you what i've done and what i'm talking about is a random act of kindness if you like to see well i can't really quite say it's random because this, this is not the first time i've done this very same thing but it's kindness nonetheless and I want to share this with you, hoping that it will touch someone else out there and they will do the same thing or something similar and pass it on. If you'd like to see what I'm talking about, grab something to drink. We're going to chat and stay tuned. I'm outside in the garden, sitting in front of two of my greenhouses. Well, the third one is over there, the white one, and I'm sure you all can hear the rustling. That's the cattle panel. I put the greenhouse plastic over that and it's making all kinds of noise. So I hope you guys can hear me. But what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is just random acts of kindness. When I lived in North Texas, I had two different sets of neighbors. One moved in and I wanna say within the year they moved out. A second set of neighbors moved in and they were an older couple, really nice couple. They invited me over for Christmas dinner, all types of celebrations. They were really kind people. The husband was not well when they moved in. And so I didn't see him very often. He tried to cut the grass once, but it didn't really work out. So his wife would ultimately do some of the outside chores. So I decided that I would help out in what ways I could. If I was outside, I would sweep their porch, sweep their walkway, pick up little sticks and twigs that fell out of the huge tree that was in front of their, their home. And every fall, I would ultimately pick up all the leaves that would fall off of that tree and a tree directly across the street from the house I lived in. I would collect all their leaves and the leaves in my um, driveway and carpet as well. Not because I just wanted the leaves, but because they were an older couple and you can slip and fall on leaves if you're not careful. So I just wanted to be kind and help out. So the entire time they lived there, the entire time I lived there, every fall, like clockwork, I would gather up the leaves. If it was a bad storm, I would gather up any twigs or whatever fell and got rid of it for them. That was something they did not have to do. And subsequently, less than a year before I left, her husband passed away. And a couple of weeks before we were to final out of that place and, and move on to where we are now, she told me that her spouse had bought them an anniversary cruise and that she did not want to go. And I urged her to go. Um, he wouldn't want her to sit home and feel all the things that, that you feel when you lose a spouse or a significant other or a loved one. And so she decided she was going to go and she took his best friend's wife because they were now both widowers. And while she was gone, before I got in the car and drove off, literally, I made sure that my final act of kindness for her was to clean off her front porch, her walkway, and take out any rubbish and of course leaves out of the driveway and carport. And then I drove away and moved down here to South Texas. Well, I've been here, it'll be a year um, at the end of this month. And I've been driving past this subdivision, this home area for quite some time. Um, and I noticed in fall, when the leaves began to fall, there was one house that just wasn't being maintained. The leaves were piling up and all the houses around that house were being maintained, the leaves were being picked up. It looked like to me, either one or two things were happening. Either there was a handicapped person that lived there, someone who was disabled in some kind of way, physically, or someone who was elderly that lived there. Because no one for the entire length of the fall has bothered to pick up any leaves. The whole front yard full of leaves, sidewalk full of leaves, um, the, the area between the sidewalk and the street, they have a little grassy area full of leaves in front of the curb full of leaves. So yesterday I got off work 
was not my intention to do any kind of act of kindness other than just, you know, say hello to somebody that I walked by, that I walked by, because uh, I was going to the grocery store. So I'm driving down this road, and I happen to look over like I always do when I drive past this house. Still, no one's picked up the leaves. Here we are. Happy New Year, by the way. We're in the new year, and again, the leaves are just piling up, piling up, piling up. So I go into the grocery store, I get the few things I need, and then as I'm leaving, something says, pick up the leaves. Well, to back up, over a month ago in December sometime, I put in my car a bag, a couple of bags, and some things to pick up leaves. Hadn't used them. I also put my bucket and my nut roller because I've been picking up uh, pecans. My family and I have been going out and we've been foraging for pecans. So I still had all that stuff in the back of my car. So as I leave the grocery store, I pull over into the street in front of the car. I'm sorry, in front of the house, get out of my car and I walk up to the house. Thinking about my own safety, I ring the doorbell and back away from the door. I wait for a few seconds, no one answers. I don't hear a dog, so I think, okay, no one's home. I can see clearly through the window that they've got their Christmas tree in the window and some lights are on. So like me, maybe they don't want to open the door. Maybe they're alone. Maybe they're disabled. I don't know. I go to my car. I get a bag and my tools to scrape up the leaves. And I begin to scrape up the leaves off the sidewalk. If this person is disabled, you know, these leaves are a problem. If they're elderly, these leaves are a problem. So I get all the leaves off one half of the front lawn. I'm in the middle of the walkway where the steps go up to their house. I get the leaves off. I see a dog. Obviously, someone's home because they've let a little dog out, a little terrier, and the dog is now at the front of the gate or at the side gate barking. I'm over to the second half of the yard in front of their home, and I'm picking up leaves. I see an elderly man come from the side yard, close the gate, and walk up to me. I, of course, say hello. I greet him. He's like, hello, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. How are you? I apologize and say, I hope I didn't startle you. I just wanted to get these leaves off your sidewalk. I've been driving past your house all year and all fall, and I've noticed that all the houses around you, the leaves have been picked up, but your house, there's a whole bunch of leaves, and I wanted to do a random act of kindness. He's like, oh, thank you so very much. The leaves that you see all piled around in my yard belong to the neighbor across the street. And he's pointing to the neighbor across the street. So obviously there's some, some stress and some tension there. So I told him, I said, well, I just want to perform. <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to, excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> I want to perform a random act of kindness. I just want to get these leaves up and I'll be on my way. He's like, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. He goes back inside of his house. So I'm halfway done with the second side of his front lawn because it's a long sidewalk. And he comes out again and he says, can I ask you a question? I said, of course, sure. What is it? He's like, what's your name? So I tell him my name. He tells me his name and he asks me, would I like something to drink? And I said, no, sir, I'm fine. I have a cup of tea in my car. I just wanted to get these up as I'm, you know, doing some errands, something said stop. And he goes, are you sure? I said, I'm absolutely positive. So as I'm still picking up leaves, he's chatting a little bit. The neighbor across the street as he's pointing at his house comes out and now the neighbor's chatting with someone who's sitting in front of his house. And he's peering over, looking at me, peering over, looking at him. And I'm still picking up leaves because it's after 4.30, it's gonna get dark soon. I just came from the grocery store. I've got groceries in the car. I've got to go home. So. I'm picking up the leaves, almost done. And he says, well, can I help you get them into your car? And I said, no, sir. This is an act of kindness from me to you. It helps you, it helps me. I've been driving past your house and I wanted to do something kind. And I happen to have three bags in my car that I could pick this, up, this stuff up. So I get all the leaves off the sidewalk out of the entire front of his house, which was a pretty long sidewalk. And as he's getting ready to go back inside the house, I told him, I said, I will do my best to come back again because I know you have a whole lot more leaves and I would love to be able to take care of this for you. Again, it helps you and it helps me. And he gives me this very sweet old man smile. 
because he's he looks frail he's thin he's got on khakis a little like sweater kind of jacket and a little baseball hat like a jean baseball hat hair completely gray he's kind of hunched over a little bit and he's like thank you so very much and he goes off back into his gate i grab the stuff and get in my car and i drive off it's almost dark i still have two more solos to go to and i just wanted to share that story with you guys so that if you ever feel like just helping a random stranger people still do that and I think that we should continue to do that. Not everyone is out to make life hard for the next guy. I mean, I, of course, I walked into the door to a stranger. I rang the doorbell. I backed away from the door because I, I wasn't sure whether or not my presence would be an issue for, for whomever lived here. They didn't answer the door, but I wanted to make sure that there was enough distance to where they didn't feel intimidated or frightful in any way. Because nowadays, folks are shooting through doors, and I didn't want that to be my life. I was just trying to be, be nice. So I want to show you all I collected. And if there's time, because I don't want this to be too, too long, I want to show you how I'm going to process these leaves so that hopefully I will have a shorter time frame for my leaf mold to break down. So let's get to my compost area. And I hope you like my story this is the part of my garden sorry about that i got my tripod and i'm bumping it on everything this is the part of my garden where i keep my compost area i also have herbs back here just to start them before i move them out into the garden but this is my space as you can see i have a pretty big green bag here and i try to compress the leaves down as much as possible with my little leaf picker uppers I'm not quite sure what those are called, but I call them leaf picker uppers. It works for me. So I filled this as full of leaves as I could. Here's my neighbor's dog. Sometimes he's just a little terror. And so then I also had these two bags in the car as well. So I filled these up and I pressed the leaves down as, as far as I could get them into the bags. So I'm going to place all these leaves in these two bags trash cans they are completely empty so, so let I make videos with my phone and my phone rang so you all missed me dumping one bag of leaves in this trash can and it looks full but here's what I'm going to try to attempt to do so let me put you all on a tripod and let's see if I can make, make this uh, a little bit less tall well that was anticlimactic I think my Oh, can you guys hear me? My phone rang, so there we go, yeah. My weed whacker, I think, has died. So let me go get the other one. This one is pretty old. We're in business now. <laughs> Let's try this again. So I am gonna attempt to use the weed whacker. Let me move this out of the way. Well, now that's in y'all's way. Got my pitchfork back here, my garden fork. I'm gonna attempt to use my weed whacker to whack down these leaves and make them smaller before I dump the second bag in here. I should have my mask on because I know I'm going to end up sneezing. So I am also taking the garden fork and I am piece of paper from a straw I am picking up the leaves from the bottom and moving them to the top so that I get as many of these leaves chopped down as I possibly can so I have more surface area of these leaves that will sit here and rot down I'm also going to put I have a bag right here with a little bit of um, coffee grounds I'm going to put some coffee grounds in here and then I'm going to wet everything down. So I'm going to continue on with using my weed whacker. I'm almost done. Then I'll add as many of the second bag in here and do the same thing until I can get everything that I've collected in this can. And then I'll move on to the next can with hopefully um, what I'm going to collect. I hope you all can see I have been chopping down the leaves. Now this can was almost completely full. 
but I've been chopping and chopping and stirring and chopping. There are still some large leaves. Excuse my rusty hands, y'all. My go I got gardening hands. I'm working today. Um, I'm chopping them down, and I'm going to add some of the second uh, leaf bag into here to see if I can fill this completely up because as your leaves break down, they are going to compress. And I'm, what I'm trying to prevent by chopping this up is, of course, giving them more surface area to break down so they break down faster. But also, if you leave them whole, they will clump up and they won't break down as fast. It's harder for them to break down when they're completely whole. So I'm going to add some uh, coffee grounds to this. And I am going to water this in really well. But this is where we are right now. And I want to show you all I've got a little visitor. Can you guys see the little visitor? He's always around when I am working. Sometimes he barks at me, like now, and sometimes he doesn't. So yeah, today is the day that he's barking. I've used up all the coffee grounds I had back here. I've been putting coffee grounds in my food waste cans as well. And I'll the show you the bag. The house gave me this huge bag full of coffee grounds. And so I still have more in the garage, but this is all that I had uh, back here. So I'll have to get more out of the garage and put it inside of the cans so that I can also have it help to break down. Because if you did not know, coffee grounds is considered a green and not a brown. I placed both of the paper sacks of leaves inside of my trash can. As you can see, the other sack is down there. And so I am going to call this a night tonight. I have to add more leaves in here more coffee grounds and then water this down but i am losing light and so i am just going to leave this as is and finish it off tomorrow and i want to say thank you very much for if you've gotten this far in the video thank you for sticking it out with me and getting to this part of the video i greatly appreciate it do me a favor give me that thumbs up uh, like the video, share the video, leave me a comment. I do my best to comment or reply to each and every comment. Um, and I want to say again, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you had a wonderful new year. I hope this is a prosperous, safe new year for you. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my garden real soon. Bye for now. Say